This is part two of creating buttons in Photoshop and importing them into Adobe Animate. We'll be going over adding sound to buttons. The first thing we're going to do is add a few layers. Make sure the buttons layer is up near the top and the very top we'll call the actions layer. This is where the code will go. Next I'm going to come to frame 100 select the top frame and the bottom frame holding shift then right click on a PC or control click on a Mac and do insert frame this populates all of our this populates all of our frames now adding sound to the buttons over here is what symbol is the button I'm going to rename that to main main button and as you can see, we're in scene one, which is the main scene. And what we're going to do is go into, instead of being in the timeline of the main scene, we're going to go into the timeline of the button, which is basically a movie within a movie. So here we are, and already the buttons have been populated from the last screencast. But what we're going to do, we have the over and the down states. We're going to add another layer, and this is where the sound is going to go. So I'm going to populate the keyframes by coming over here. Next, I'm going to go to File, Import, and Import to Library, and Import my sound files. So here's my sound files. And to keep things organized, I could create a new folder and give it the name of sound and pull my sound files into it. So to test the, the sound files I can just come up here. There's my clicking noise. Okay, so there's not a huge distinction between the sounds here, but I'm going to use, just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to use uh, these sound files to add to the over and the down frames. And I'm going to do that by going to Properties. And while I have the over frame selected, I come over to Properties and I see Sound, and I select my sound here and I make sure that it says event not stream and you can see the wave file is represented in the frame so now I'm coming over to down again over to the sound in properties and adding this one and again it's event and I don't want to repeat it so now I'm going to test it control test. And I should get a sound on the mouse over and a sound on the click. Not the best sounds. Not the best sounds, but they work. Back to the timeline, and we're going to go from the main button back to the main timeline. Adobe Animate has an assets panel where you can find sounds which you see right here, sound clips, you see background scores, and you see sound effects. Well, if you want to use a background score, what you would do would be select a frame, and all you do is come over and drag the background score. And you can see it's right here. And what, when you go to properties, you want that to be on stream, not event, which is on stream right now. So when you scrub the the playhead, you actually hear the sound.